This video is going to give you an overview of FSOF's new advanced web scanner service. This is a new scanning service that we've introduced in FSOF version 4.0.6.0. FSOF is now integrated with an advanced web scanner service, and when an operator goes to the web scanner page within FSOF, it will check to see if the web scanner service is already installed on the machine. And if not, it will prompt the user for the download. The advanced web scanner service is now using HTML5 to communicate instead of a Java applet, as in our older versions. Let me give you a little overview of this new web scanner service now. So I've added another scanner profile here, and you can see this is called John Local. And so I've kept most of the settings pretty much standard. And this last column for local storage, this is the switch that allows the images to be stored locally, or if it's unchecked, it'll store it on the server. All right, so now let's go over to our web scanner. And now you can see that it's checking for the FSOF scanner service. And now we get a message saying that the scanner service is not running. So it says to please start the service or install it. So I'm going to download the service now. This is only something that you'll need to do the first time. So once it's installed, you won't have to go through this step again. So now I'm going to walk through the scanner service installer. Pretty much just default. Click through this install. And it's very quick, so it'll be done here in a moment. And now that it's finished, we can hit finish. And now I need to close my browser and then relaunch FSOFT. And now you can see it's checking again, but that was very quick this time because it found it. And now we're at the normal web scanner interface. So now if I'd like, I can go ahead and change my default profile. I could change the batch class. Switch to my new John local profile. If I had other scanners connected in addition to this Epson, I could select a different scanner from this drop-down list. And then I can also give this batch that I'm about to scan a description. And then once I'm ready to go, I hit start, and I can start processing just like usual. And that covers our new advanced web scanner. If you have any questions, please let us know, and thanks for watching.